Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be talking about one very important interview question. So the question is, what is the difference between your proc means and proc summary? So there are two main difference between these two. Let's begin. So the first difference is proc means by default produces your printed output in the output window, but your proc summary does not. So in proc summary, you need to include the print option to print or to get the result in the output window. So let's see how is it looking like. So I'm writing here proc means data is equal to let's say sasl.class and run. That's it. I've not mentioned anything else. So if I do this, what happens is I get five things. One is your n, that is the number of observations here. Then the mean of all the variables, standard deviation, minimum and maximum. And here you are finding is your variables. So age, height and weight. You can see here we have age, height and weight as numeric variables. So for that it has got n mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum by default. Okay. And you can see the result, right? But if I do the same with your uh, proc summary, what happens? Let's see. So if I write proc summary, okay, and I'll run it now. So what happens is you can see in log, we are getting neither the print option nor a valid output statement has been given. So what you have to do, you have to give a print option. So now if I give a print option, what does it do? You are just getting number of observation. So that is your difference number two. So omitting the variable statement in proc means analyzes all the numeric variables where omitting the variable statement in proc summary produces a simple count of observation. So what they're telling is I'll show you. Let me quickly write proc means also here. Yeah. So what they are telling is if you run proc means without writing var statement, okay, variable statement, you are getting all these things for the variables, right? That is analysis of all the numeric variable. But when we do the same with your proc summary, what did you get? You just got a simple count of observation that is NOBS, number of observation. And you can see here there are 19 observation. So that is what you are getting. But if you write any variable here let's say variable h now do we find any difference yes we will definitely see a difference now you can see for h using your proc summary what did you get your n mean standard deviation minimum and maximum but you had to mention the variable here okay the variable statement then you are getting but if you are not mentioning this what do you get a simple count of observation that is the number of observation so these two are the difference between the proc means and summary i hope my video is clear to all of you thank you everyone for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel